Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my diversary. So if you are not a type 1 diabetic uh, and you're not familiar with what a diversary is, it is the anniversary of your type 1 diagnosis. Uh, so my anniversary, ironically enough, is on April 1st. So um, yeah, there was no, I mean, it, it was, uh, I'm surprised I'm getting emotional talking about it because it, this is my second year uh, diversary, so I have officially been diagnosed type 1 for two years now. Um, and I still will never forget the day that I was diagnosed. Um, and, and actually, I guess it was maybe, I count April 1st as my official diagnosis because that's when they started me on insulin, but they did do a blood test that day and then they came back to me and confirmed that I was type 1. Um, but uh, basically what had happened was uh, prior to that in December, um, I had gone in and my family physician had diagnosed me, misdiagnosed me as a type 2 diabetic. Um, you know, at first I harbored some ill feelings about it towards the doctor, not because of the diagnosis, but because it was a misdiagnosis. And I think a lot of times nowadays doctors are looking for what is the simplest explanation to someone's illness. My blood sugar was up, so that's one thing. Um, I was over 30 at the time, um, and most type 1 diagnoses, most type 1 diagnoses are uh, under the age of 30, so she just, you know, didn't really delve deep into my family history. Um, and yeah, I lived basically with type 1 from December to April, taking type 2 meds and working my ass off to bring down my blood sugar and much frustration. Um, and then my doctor did refer me to an endocrinologist and April 1st was that endocrinologist appointment. Um, and my endocrinologist is at Women's College Hospital. Um, and Women's College Hospital is a teaching hospital. Um, I didn't know that before going in, um, but when I went in for my appointment, they asked, um, are you fine uh, with having um, residents take your war medical history um, and basically be involved in the conversation with the doctor? And um, one of my cousins is actually a doctor, um, and I was, I was perfectly fine with it. Uh, I know some people are much more private about uh, their medical uh, situation, and I get that to each their own. For me, if they could learn anything and benefit and help other people, I am all for that. Um, so my clinic is still at uh, Women's College, and um, the last time I went in, I actually had a fellow, which. I don't know enough about doctors to, to know exactly what that is, uh, but it wasn't my tip, my regular endocrinologist. Um, but yeah, she was great, and uh, I've always had a good experience with uh, the people at Women's College Hospital. Specifically, I absolutely adore um, my, she's advanced practitioner nurse, um, Leah. Uh, so if you're in Toronto and you go there, then you know who she is. She's also type 1 and she made my transition uh, onto insulin. I can't believe I'm getting emotional about this. Like, 
I don't know if it's the actual anniversary. I don't know if it's my period's coming and hormones. Um, but yeah. Anyways, I don't want to cry. I'm going to try and get through this without any more tears. I think anybody who has been diagnosed with any kind of chronic illness will have a pity party or go through a phase um, of sadness. Um, it's kind of like, it's like a grieving process really when I think about it. Um, and I did, I went through that process where initially I felt sorry for myself and uh, until it took some time to accept that it was my reality and um, yeah, back to the transition onto insulin um, and my advanced practitioner, Nurse Leah. I think in part because she's also type 1, she was just such an, an amazing person to have um, help me through that initial uh, transition onto insulin. She was, she's extremely knowledgeable, obviously, <laughs> nurses have to be, but then for me, getting advice from another type 1 diabetic was... It, it it's like not only are you getting uh, advice from a medical professional but you're getting advice from somebody that actually knows what's going on um, and can tell you things so I will <laughs> give an example this was uh, probably about a month or so into uh, being on insulin I was having I couldn't get my blood sugar down and I couldn't figure it out. Um, I couldn't figure out why I could not get my blood sugar down. And I called Leah and I said to her, I think my body hates me. Um, and she kind of chuckled and she said to me, where are you in your cycle? And at that time I was tracking it and I still track my period. Um, and I was able to tell her, oh, I'm actually ovulating. And she said, well, your body doesn't hate you. It's the hormones are affecting your insulin sensitivity. So you need more insulin during this time period to bring you back to the levels you were at before. Um, and she, she, just the way she explained things to me and the way that she talked to me uh, was very calming. And she's just such an understanding, just, I cannot say enough good things about her and um, you know if you're lucky enough to work with her as your nurse um, you will understand uh, in part but not completely uh, she is kind of why I selected the Omnipod I knew that she wore the Omnipod um, but uh, I had talked to other people that use the Omnipod as well too not just her, uh, to make my decision on my pump, but she was in part uh, why I selected the Omnipod. But yeah, that uh, day was, it was definitely like, starting on insulin was life-changing. It was life-changing in the sense that it brought me back into some sense of normality um, because insulin is a hormone. Um, and everything is out of whack. There was a period where I was very, very, very emotional when my blood sugars were running really high. And it was something that I couldn't even really explain. And even when I first transitioned onto insulin and we were getting me back into normal ranges, my emotions were just all over the map. Um, and that was, some of it was life situational and then some of it was obviously uh, the illness and getting things back in check. But um, I would say that um, a good, I felt like I had a good grasp on taking care of myself in terms of being a type 1 diabetic fairly 
Uh, not fairly quickly, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the time frame would be to say that you're a, a good diabetic or not. I'm kind of all over the map on this. Back to my diagnosis. Um, so on the day I was diagnosed, uh, there was uh, two interns that took my medical history. Uh, Leah uh, came into the room and then um, my uh, endocrinologist as well was in the room. So four people talking to me about, you know, asking me questions and talking to me um, and going through my medical history and whatnot. So the two girls uh, went through my medical history and Leah was in the room part of the time during that. Um, and then uh, Dr. Liscombe came in, um, that's my endocrinologist, uh, and talked to me about, um, you know, uh, the, the girls kind of, uh, gave back my medical history and then she said okay we are going to start you on insulin today we still need to get the blood work done to confirm officially that you're type 1 but basically with her background knowledge and her many 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 years of experience dealing with type 1 diabetics the way that my um, blood sugars came on it was very quick um, and, um, the way that basically the medication, the type 2 medication did zilch for me, uh, the way that my exercising and dieting had done nothing for me, she was, you know, of the belief that I was type 1. So, that was, uh, how, you know, how I was diagnosed in terms of, uh, finding out that I was a type 1 diabetic. Um, after that appointment, I don't know, there was like a sliver of hope still that I was type 2 until, um, the actual, what's it, the actual blood test results came back and then, uh, Leah called me and let me know and, um, then there was no shadow of a doubt, which in some ways is good because you know what the diagnosis is and, you're all in for treating that. Uh, so anyways, back to my management. So how long I think it took me, and even right now, I'm I'm two years in, and it's funny, I've met people. That, one of the gentlemen that I met when I went to a connected emotion slipstream, he was 45 years into his type one diagnosis. And uh, he, he was there, so connected emotion is uh, for people that are active with type 1 diabetes, but also in education. So 45 years in, and he still wants to be educated on the disease and what he can do and the different things available for him. So I would say you're probably never an expert um, because your body's constantly changing um, and how it affects you is changing. So. Uh, that was really humbling. So that was actually, that was in September that I went to the slipstream. So six months in and in, I learned more in a day and a half with that uh, connected in motion uh, slipstream about uh, type 1 diabetes than I had learned the entire six months uh, that I'd been diagnosed and more related to like exercise and stuff and how you um, ha how you're able to exercise with type 1 diabetes and not go low and stuff uh, I had learned so much there um, so I would say maybe nine months in I was somewhat more confident about how I was managing my type 1 diabetes um, but I did know, um, basically early on that I was going to want to go on a pump and a big reason is actually from the slipstream because the people that I met, um, most of them had insulin pumps and most of them, um, had very well controlled, uh, diabetes and they basically just said it, it just makes life easier and that is true. Uh, so a year in. Um, I went on the Omnipod and that was another little bit of a learning curve but luckily um, I had Leah there uh, helping me uh, put together my basal rates and whatnot and explaining everything to me 
um, and really assisting me through uh, that whole process. So I would say, um, you know, that, that was very, I've been blessed with the team that's been around me in terms of uh, my medical team um, and really with, uh, with uh, Leah as uh, my advanced practitioner nurse. She's been amazing. But uh, yeah, that is my kind of diagnosis story. I think I talked about it before in a vlog when I first started vlogging, um, but I figured I would do another video and talk about it on my two year anniversary. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If uh, you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. So if you're a type 1 diabetic and you're watching this, let me know when your anniversary is down below um, and also how many years you've been diagnosed with type 1 diabetic. Thanks so much for tuning in guys and I hope you have a fantastic day.